Hey everybody and welcome, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to look at another lighting setup which will create some really awesome effects for your character portraits. A huge thank you to everyone who subscribes and hit the notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course a massive thank you to my patrons and members, your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. So let's jump into this then. So this is actually a really simple portrait lighting setup that is enhanced by our choice of background and our background I will show you once we've set up the lights but as you can see I've got my male character set up here with the camera same as the one that we had um, a few episodes ago and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new primitive by clicking on this button at the top here that looks like three shapes smushed together and we're going to create a plane and the plane is going to be about 1.5 meters across, only needs one division. And we're gonna hit accept like that. And we're gonna select our object and immediately we're going to change its dimensions slightly. So in the parameters tab, making sure that we've got our first plane selected, we're gonna come down and we're gonna look at the scale. Now I wanna make this narrower along the Z axis. So we can check that that's the correct one. Yep. And I want this to be about 40% like that. So we've got a strip box basically. We're gonna move it forward and we're gonna bring it up like that. And we're gonna get it into position so that it's nice and close to our character, but it's not gonna be in the shot. Now what we want to do is rotate it around the x-axis. Remember the x-axis is along the, um, the plane that we want to move it on. You can use the right hand rule if you need to. And we're going to rotate that in a positive direction so that it's pointed more or less directly at our character. Now we're going to jump into our camera and check that we can't see it in the shot. And we can't, so we're good. Now, because these are going to be identical planes, the, the other lights that we're going to use, all we're going to do is we're going to create a new node instance like that. And we're just going to hit accept. And as you can see, what that has done is created a copy of that, which we're going to scale also along the Z axis to 40% like this. Now we want these lights to be equidistant from our character. So we're going to check where we are on this plane in the several different axes. So we can see we're 52 along on the Z axis. So we're going to change that to 52 like that. And as you can see, it's actually really, really close. And we're going to move it up using our Y slider there. And I think I'm actually going to move this one a fraction further away just so that it's not actually intersecting with a character. And we're going to use our X rotate again and we're going to rotate it pointing towards the character like that. Now this one, we're going to go into our camera view. We're going to check that we've still got our plane instance selected and we're going to bring it up gradually until we're just there. And I'm going to drop it a little bit lower. There we go. So if we look at it from our perspective view, they should be fairly close in terms of distance from the upper body, the kind of head and shoulders area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our surfaces tab on the original plane and we're going to expand that down until we're in our emission settings and we're going to click on this bar here and change our emission color to white. You're going to change our luminance units to KCD over MR2 like that and then we're going to jump back into our camera and next thing we want to do if you haven't already been doing these videos before is go into your render settings in the environment and check that you are on scene only and that just removes the uh, HDRI from the area so that it's only these scene lights that are going to affect it and you can turn off draw ground it's not going to make any difference but every little helps so now we're going to switch to Nvidia iRay mode and we can check how bright our lights are. So as you can see, we need to increase the luminance of these quite a bit. So I'm thinking we could probably go up to about 20,000. 
and that's better, but it's still not perfect. So I'm going to say 50,000. And I think we could probably still get away with going brighter. So we're going to go with 200,000. There we go. And what we're looking for is a really well lit character who's, um, there's no blown out highlights. We don't want any kind of white patches. So if we move the character ever so slightly, because I've set his eyes to look at the camera. If we rotate it ever so slightly, he should all of a sudden look straight at the camera. And if he doesn't, there we go. Now he's looking at the camera. So in a final kind of piece to this portrait is the background. So we're going to go to environment here and in where it says none, we're going to change it. And then we're going to select an actual background and we're going to apply it. So I've already got one made up, but I'm going to select it there. And there you go. And all it is is a simple purple backdrop with a white kind of blob behind the character and it's just, this is what we call a clamshell lighting it's um it's just light from above and below and it just highlights the character quite nicely and it's a nice simple lighting setup that can create some quite interesting looking portraits hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below smash like and i'll see you in the next one bye bye